would you rather see a woman who's dressed in something incredibly sexy and really flattering, but maybe not that up to date, or the woman who's cutting edge right this minute, but it's not really about her figure? You know, what guys think they want is what they'll call timeless. What they really want is short and tight. No, no, <laughs> no, no. Not, not, no, no. So Tyler, thanks so much for coming down to Todd's Mill on the Lower East Side to talk fall trends. We are digging deep into the male psyche today, an unprecedented glimpse at what guys really think about what we're wearing. I am so happy to be here. Speaking for all guys, I just want to say it's nice to finally be asked. So animal print is one of those things, I hate to even call it a trend because it never actually goes away, but really this season it's there. It's all over the runways. Are we trying too hard trying to make animal print happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think if you're gonna do, I mean, who am I to say, but I think if you're gonna do an animal print of one proportion, you wanna explode it. Like if you're gonna do like a normal animal print, a normal proportion animal print, then you wanna have a completely deconstructed animal print, something else to go with it. Sure, that's you know, kind of what we saw on the runway like at Diane von Furstenberg. She did these super oversized versions paired yeah. with sort of a more small scale, like yeah. kind of just putting a fresh, a fresh injection into it. I like that. I mean, because it's not a new idea. So you have yeah. to take that idea and make it new. The menswear thing is huge this season, again, but it's not so much silhouette, it's not about tailoring, it's more about the prints, sort of like seeing the reinfusion of classic prints and houndstooth, camouflage, tartan, they're everywhere. And I kind of love the idea of taking something that has a little bit of a male influence, but wearing it in this very, very feminine way. That's the key right there, I think, is wearing it in that yeah. feminine way. You know, there's also just this bit, been this trend for a while about the whole boyfriend shirt, the yeah. boyfriend jean, et cetera, et cetera that I get, I think it's cool. I think every guy has that fantasy. I mean, the old Van Heusen shirt ad of right. like the woman wearing your dress shirt and nothing else the next right. morning and all that. I mean, that's just an undeniably appealing image. What came first, 50 Shades of Grey or yeah. endless leather on the runway? I think that, that it's all about that execution. And I think that um, the, the sort of perfect piece of leather you know, in a woman's look yeah. is great for you know, guys like that. I also think that it doesn't have to be black. I like, mm. I like it like a burgundy leather, like a yeah. really rich burgundy or plum colored we leather or camel. We saw a lot of that this season, different yeah. jewel tones, even metallic. A friend of mine just went shopping with his wife and bought her a pair of black leather helmet lang pants. Oh, those, she'll have those forever. That's, she will. That's a great purchase. They were not cheap, yeah. and I'm not sure who is happier about those pants, <laughs> her or him. So let's get some gut reactions here. I'm gonna throw some trends at you and I want the first thing that comes to mind. 90s Redux. Love it, but I'm not sure if it makes me feel young or old. The boudoir pajama look a la Louis Vuitton. It kind of confuses me. Hot pink. Oh, it's dangerous, but mostly well done. The knit beanie. I like it on a girl, I don't like it on a guy. Graphic sweatshirts. Every girl needs one, especially one from Shivashi. Capes. My five-year-old son loves him, and so do I. 